This is a banjo ray, commonly called a fiddler ray. These are cartilaginous fish. They don't have any bones. They're benthic feeders, so they forage on the bottom of the ocean floor, searching for crustaceans and shellfish. These are common fish to Port Phillip Bay. Benthic feeding carnivorous vacuum cleaner. You can see their mouth underneath, they're chewing up all of their food, and their gills are underneath as well. I want you to look at its eyes, popping out of its head. They can use their eyes like submarine periscopes to look around, searching for their prey. Banjo rays are oviparous, which means they lay eggs to reproduce. A banjo ray's egg is called a mermaid's purse or a shark egg case. The baby lives off the yolk inside the egg for up to nine months. And the egg's perfectly camouflaged, so predators can't detect it and eat the young. And the baby banjo ray is called a pup. They have exceptional camouflage for hiding on the bottom of Port Phillip Bay. Banjo rays are covered in denticles. They kind of feel like sandpaper to touch. It kind of feels like Dad's face in the morning before he's had a shave. Denticles at sensory bumps. Banjo rays are directly affected by our litter and waste in the city of Manningham. Our waste flows down the Yarra River out into Port Phillip Bay. Banjo rays can eat our litter, thinking it's food. Plastics and microplastics are detrimental to all marine species. If banjo rays ingest our plastics, it can cause harm in their digestive tract. Remember, don't litter in the city of Manningham because our litter directly affects animals in Port Phillip Bay. So join me in becoming litter champions in the city of Manningham. Let's all reduce, reuse and recycle.